episode 026. My name is Regmon Besser. I'm an artist and a musician. I went to art school and studied painting. I've got a diploma of painting from the National Art School in Sydney, which I finished in 1977. Welcome to Innovator Diaries, a show where influencers and leaders from all walks of life share their story and experiences. You learn the strategies and action points that have helped them find success and get to where they are today. You'll hear their stories and valuable advice to help you on your own path. These messages may also help somebody you know, so please share. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm really excited to talk to you today because you. you've achieved so much. It's so long that I had to write it down. You're <laughs> a musician, you're an artist, you are part of two successful bands. You've exhibited your art in museums all over the world. You have permanent exhibitions in some of the museums. You even had your art exhibit in the Olympic Games in 2000 here in Sydney. You've won prizes and you've also published books. So this is a wealth of experience and of things that you have achieved. So thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Perhaps if you can tell us a little bit about your childhood. I grew up in South Auckland, which is in New Zealand. My father was a carpenter. My mother had been a factory worker and nurse and was in the Air Force during the Second World War. And my father was in the British Army during the Second World War. Dad was Irish, mum was English, and they went to New Zealand after the war. And so I grew up in this outer suburban area of Auckland, sort of where a lot of the new arrivals and migrants had gone because the land was cheap. And as a child, I just drew all the time because I liked drawing. And my father had some artistic talent. He'd had a scholarship to go to art school in Ireland, but his father died suddenly when he was 16, so he didn't get to go, unfortunately. And he became a carpenter instead to help support his family. So dad never got to be an artist, but eventually I did. And then I went, when I was a child, I just liked cartoons and comics and graphic art. I didn't have much knowledge of, you know, painting until I got to high school. And then I started, did art at high school and started borrowing art books from the library and copying pictures from them, paintings, mainly impressionist paintings, because they were easier to copy. And I got a guitar when I was 15 and started trying to play blues songs and pop songs and had a couple of piano lessons when I was 12 for about three months. And so I, I didn't really have any formal musical training, but just picked up things from friends and relatives. What came first, the music or art? Well, the art came first really because I'd been drawing, you know, obsessively since as long as I can remember, since I was two or three, I guess. And I didn't really start playing music more seriously till I was probably about 16. And you think you were drawing so much and so often because your parents embraced it? My parents certainly encouraged me. They never discouraged me from doing art. I mean, I mean, part of the fact that my father was, I mean, my father did a little bit of Sunday painting and made toys for us and stuff when I was a kid. So he still had some artistic expression, I guess. And my mother had, she wasn't so much a visual art, but when she was a nurse, she acted in, you know, plays and sung in choirs and things. So she had that interest in the entertainment side of things, I guess. They were always encouraging. Teachers were encouraging and other students would encourage you if you could draw well. It was something that gave you some status, I guess, okay. some appreciation from your peers and from adults. And then you came to Australia and you did your bachelor's degree here? Or? I came to Australia when I was 17. I went pretty much straight to art school and I did two years of like just, just an introductory course. Then it was a five year course. Then you did the two years introductory then the three. Years. So I just did the introductory course and I left because I sort of found it a little bit boring and I was a little bit arrogant. I thought, oh, I don't need to be taught. I can already I know how to paint already, I didn't need to be taught. So I just did labouring jobs and cleaning jobs and builders labouring, house painting for a few years. And then when the Whitlam government came in in 1972, um, they introduced a student allowance and paid education pretty much free. Want to listen to the entire interview? Simply go to innovatordiaries.com slash episode number. Or you can find this episode and hundreds of other great stories on Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast player is. Please check me out on LinkedIn. Follow or connect with me as I'm very proactive on that social network. And finally, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You'll get all the new stories as soon as they're released. See you next time.